good. Very good. Very good. Let me just get confirmation. There we are. Sweet. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, we're doing a cooking live stream. We're going to make some hamburgers. We're going to make some fries. And we're going to take talk about uh, books, basically book recommendations and I'm pretty sure people are going to discuss some books as well. Uh, this is sort of a request that came up and uh, one of the best times to talk about uh, books, movies, music, just some of the joys of life is when eating, when making food. So this is a great opportunity to do so, right? I think the first cooking stream we ever did was philosophy and pancakes. So we're doing hamburgers, fries and books <laughs> today. I hope you're doing well. Today is November nineteenth, twenty twenty, and we're gonna nice. Uh, we're gonna go nice and chill with the stream. Uh, enjoy our time together. For those of you that want to know what this is all about, while we wait for people to roll in uh, for this live stream, as notifications go out on Discord, Elder God, how are you doing? Notifications go out on Discord and uh, Twitch. Uh, I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this work is about, you can go to Patreon. Everything's layered on mathematics. More on that, not that we haven't done a lot. We've done hundreds of videos on mathematics and how it relates to basically every aspect of our lives. But we're going to kick things into high gear come the beginning of 2020 as we go on a mass decentralization the next phase of it uh, so we're not dependent on just one platform to for our main audience right or two platforms right now we have two main platforms twitch and youtube but we are on bitshoot as well and we will be expanding that okay and there's gonna be a lot of writing that uh, slowly started working towards uh to put out for the math content okay so if you want to know what this is about I am on Patreon. You can check out that page. Everything's Creative Commons. I don't put anything behind paywalls. So share and share alike. And for those of you who've been supporting this work, awesome, all got Discord notifications sent. And for those of you who've been uh, supporting this work through Patreon, thank you, gang, for your support. I know some of you have been there for a very long time since I set up my Patreon page, and I really appreciate the support. We are live streaming on Twitch, the chat that you see here. If you want to participate in these live streams, Cyberpunk 2088. How are you doing? Ichicho, how are you doing? Doing great. Uh, Skellogs, smoke, cornflakes, smellogs, cornflakes. I always get cornflakes. I always say cornflakes at the end. Hello, lad. How are we doing? Doing fantastic. Going to cook up a ton of meat and a lot of fries. Emily, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome. Twitch as well has gone out. Awesome. I can see people rolling in. Absurdicon, how are you doing? Nice kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Slick Mick 99. Hey, Chicho. Literally just had burgers. Nice. I'm looking forward to this. I've been craving burgers for a while. I need, I need some major comfort food for a few days. And this is going to be it. Or we need it. And this is going to be it. Uh, and, it's, and it's fall, right? You need powerful food. Cyberpunk cornflakes are awesome cornflakes are awesome gbr 33 chicho glad to see the stream me too glad to be streaming young polacks chicho how are you doing young, young polacks gravity of the situation how are you doing it's been a while what's up chicho how's life man hope you're doing well gang we are live streaming on twitch for those of you who've been following this work on twitch you've been here participating in the chat for those of you who are following or subscribing who are using your points in auction streams that we're going to start doing thank you very much for being here uh, fun ride so far and uh, pretty sure it's going to be a fun ride for quite some time to go i do announce these live streams on parlor minds vk gab i'm missing one and twitter and elo Hello and Twitter, right? So if you want to follow this work and see what this is all about, uh, the links will be in the description of this video and you can just go on our chat on uh, 
Twitch and just put exclamation mark social and all the links will pop up irrelevant if we're streaming or not that's active all the time okay for live streams when we don't have any visuals um, which we do right now the audio for them will be uploaded to SoundCloud as podcast and I'm slowly moving towards uploading all the audios to SoundCloud I just need to get some other stuff set up moving closer and closer moving closer and closer lily sticks tv what's up chicho curious what do you like to put in your burgers man uh the only thing i don't put in is uh, well i don't like is radish uh no not radish is is, is it radish the green radish that's sweet stuff i don't like that stuff but i like uh pickles uh tomatoes uh, greens cheese uh mustard is good now it depends on the type of burger mayonnaise mm. I'm regular mushrooms or oh, mushrooms onions fried onions are oh, all so good uh, really uh, burgers there's gazillion ways to eat it and they're all delicious uh, gravity is situation just so you know Chicho I'm um, all the snow on YouTube ah awesome all this I've uh, I've uh, commented back and forth before always a good uh, comment yeah all this you just left a comment regarding uh, 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 uh t uh, trump right is, is that what you uh, was that you that just left a comment i was gonna uh reply back to you but uh i didn't have time i had to go live twitching jason how are you doing afternoon gang just had some leftover ravioli and cooked eggs how are you doing Co uh i cooked yesterday but man i'm expecting the stream to make me hungry again i'm already hungry von duchi I don't know what that means young Polacks pickles pickles delicious homemade pickles we got as well uh, I can eat a whole jar of right now Worcester Worcester sauce yeah you know what I haven't had Worcester sauce forever man yo yo kebabs how are you doing cornflakes been looking forward to the stream me too me too gang we will be uploading this video to both BitChute and YouTube and for those of you who've been following this work on BitChute and YouTube YouTube for 15 years now basically and uh, BitChute we've been on for four years five years now uh, pretty much like a year after they went live or something uh, thank you for following the work there thank you for turning on notifications you're guaranteed to get notifications on BitChute not so much on YouTube um, you know the deal YouTube is rolling out some stuff which is absolutely crazy uh, they're basically telling their partners that we're not a good partner so uh, or they're not a good partner uh, so we're gonna start decentralizing a lot more putting a lot more effort towards that uh, gang but if you are on YouTube and if you want to support this work and there's uh, some of you that are supporting this work on YouTube there's a button down there and you can support this work through joining YouTube membership and thank you very much for your support gravity situation yeah I did please don't ever take my comment as being no brother I don't I'm just a natural uh, debate dude no worries no worries and just to answer you I am definitely not an apologist like people define wars as ground wars you know this war but that's kicked up much differently right so people say this Joe Blow schmuck hasn't started any wars but in my book they have sanctions as war cyber warfare economic warfare those are warfare right let's go void how are you doing gherkins is my big mac is <laughs> your big mac Ger gherkins is my big mac i have no idea what that means twitching jason how's the weather up there right now by the way starting to get chilly on the east coast yeah um here the weather's weird it's been raining stormy windy uh, it's been fun tell you the truth i don't mind that. i wouldn't mind a few more sunny days but uh, it's fun i like chaos chaotic weather i like chaotic weather by the way gang i'm drinking some blackberry liqueur salute okay and we're gonna start cooking things up right now okay as you as you know got the two cameras set up you got the main camera set up today we're gonna make hamburgers let me show you what we got going because there isn't too many ingredients in this uh, we made hamburgers before with four pounds of meat 
right? So the recipe is online. And I think I only provided the video. We all, the last time we made hamburgers, I think it only went to BitChute because we talked about some politics that it was going to get nuked on YouTube. So I didn't even bother loading it on YouTube. I think I couldn't even find it on YouTube. To, like I look, I it wasn't there in the cooking playlist. So I assumed I didn't load it on there. Right. But it is on BitChute and the recipe is there. So the recipe was this, right? We're going to use four pounds in the previous one. We used four pounds of ground beef. Okay. Two uh, cups of bread, bread crumbs, one large onion, two large potatoes, two eggs, and we added salt and about half a teaspoon of uh, baking soda. Right. I'm going to kick it up today. I want to make enough burgers that we're going to have some we're going to freeze some because this meat wasn't previously frozen so we got six pounds of ground beef and this isn't um, regular it's a lean ground beef right so previously i did i think three lean uh one regular so it had a little bit of fat or two and two right so for this we're going to add a little bit of oil hopefully i'll remember i'll put the olive oil over here so i do remember to put it on okay so we're going to add a little bit of oil to it because you do want it to be a little bit uh, fatty, right? It's burgers, right? Uh, Chicho, uh, Elder God, Chicho, I, I can have cheese. So, uh, so I ask for extra pickles. Oh, ger gherkins is pickles. Is that what it is? You can't, you can't, I'm assuming you can't have cheese. Can't, yeah, yeah, can't have cheese. So you ask for extra pickles. Ah, I've never heard of gherkins. Is it a name brand? liquor looks on point liquor is fantastic right now lonely piggy how are you doing hey chicho and chat big moves forward for the rcmp recruitment process nice started uh running and man it's cold oh my god you're running you're starting rain right now running in the winter is heavy on the chest right we got some breadcrumbs okay we got the breadcrumbs we got the potatoes we got some onions i couldn't get my hands on any large onions so the little onions so we're going to use a whole bunch of uh a little onions okay but what we're gonna do right now is let me turn on the cameras okay we're gonna boil some water cut up some potatoes start uh, the making the french fry process going and then we're gonna work on the hamburgers okay so let me turn on our videos here okay so I'm gonna kick this up put it on high Actually, I'm just gonna use this small elements okay so I'm just gonna boil the water here and as we're doing that I'm gonna cut up some uh, potatoes and I'm just using russet potatoes gang Russell russet or whatever it is right I got a whole bunch of potatoes here I want to make a fair bit of french fries I just want comfort food man right onions are my favorite food eat raw onions as a snack wheat man onions I we used to eat a lot of onions uh, in salads, but people don't like onions, raw onions, uh, where I am too much. So basically ended up not, you know, taking that out of our recipes. So uh, our repertoire, when I was a kid, we used to do a lot, right? Let me show you how I'm cutting these. I usually do this, right? Can you see that? Yeah. I just do this and then split it up. And I know it seems a little wacko what I'm doing here, but bold move, right? So I do this and then, and these become my French fries, right? Okay. So you get them like this. Sometimes they end up thicker, sometimes they end up thinner, right? Yeah. And then what I do when I'm making French fries is uh, boil the potatoes a little bit, right? Pre-cook them a little bit, and then I put them in a bowl, mix oil in the bowl and the f potatoes, and then I put them in the oven, okay? And I basically uh, make potatoes in the oven.
Where did I get that knife? Um, I don't know. I think it's my partner's. She got it. It's not bad. I did a couple of quick sharpens on it. I should do it. I should have done it more, but we're just going to be cutting up potatoes and uh, and onions today, so not very much usage. Love making fries that way. So good, so good, so good. You don't need to deep fry everything, right? Even though it could be very delicious. Actually, the knife is a little sticky. These are going to be big fries, actually. I usually cut them a little bit smaller than this. So that was three potatoes? I think that was three potatoes. Let's do more. And we're going to cook one tray right now just so we have it as a snack as we cook the hamburgers and then we're going to make some of the fries with the hamburgers right because one thing we want to do uh, when we're making food is uh, make sure you know things are ready at the right time we don't want the fries to be sitting there getting cold what kind of books are we talking about gang books here's here let me show you my two books i recommend you would have seen this if you've been around. One of the books I read when I was in high school that really influenced me, it got me thinking. C.S. Lewis, Fern Seeds and Elephants. It's essays by C.S. Lewis. Highly recommend, gang. Gets you thinking, right? So I read this when I was in, I think, grade 10 or grade 9 or something like this. And uh, I found it, uh, I liked it. Right, I liked that a lot, especially the essay, Fern Seed and Elephants. I think that's what it's called. I actually need to, it's called Fern Seed and Elephants, yeah. Um, it's an address that he made. I can't remember where he, C.S. Lewis made it. And uh, really, it just got me thinking as a teenager. Uh, so I do recommend that one as often as I can. That's my book recommendation and I have another one that I read when I first started teaching mathematics like 20 years ago and it's called I think it was about 20 years ago God's Equation okay by Amir D. Assel and it's basically how Einstein came about with the theory of relativity and with Fern Seeds and Elephants I learned that there's a perspective multiple perspective to certain situations right it taught me how to think in large part or a way of thinking right this one taught me that collaboration is the name of the game because Einstein couldn't have come up with anything on his own if he wasn't able to collaborate with people right so I found from that book I realized Einstein didn't know everything he got help from a lot of people right that's my two book recommendations for this stream what are you guys recommending? Hamburgers and fries, yum. Can't go wrong with this, no. My dad made me uh, read Native Son in high school. Nate, I don't know that one. I wasn't interested initially, but once I got into it, it quickly became my favorite of all time. Really, Native Son, I don't know Native Son. I'm gonna transfer the fries over to the pot we're gonna use. And I'm gonna put this here. Or the bowl we're gonna use to oil them up once we start cooking them. Oh, this thing's boiling slowly, but I'm gonna wait until it boils. Okay. I'm gonna cut up more fries as well. I let you, I love to season my fries with cayenne, nice. Onions, garlic powder, salt and pepper, oregano, nice. Uh, sometimes after they're done cooking, I'll put some uh, raw milk parma parmesan cheese powder to top it off. oh my god 
<laughs> that's a meal on its own. Uh, John Zuck. Hello, hello, Spider-Man. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So that was what? Four large potatoes, I think. I don't know. We're going to do more. So we got this much so far. One more. I want to cut up a couple of more large ones. medium sized ones anyway. By the way gang, how often do you find yourself reading comment uh reading books in general? I personally go through phases. I don't know about you guys. Sometimes I sit down, I read a couple of books back to back. Sometimes I start off a book and then don't find it interesting and I walk away from it and don't get back into reading for a few months sometimes even right now I'm through it's been a few months since I started I was reading a book other than graphic novels or large long essays and stuff but I'm definitely craving uh, the need to get into a book again young Polacks I'm not re uh, I'm not a re Young Polax, there was a period in my life where I didn't read for a few years or didn't read didn't read any books for a few years. Once I got back into it, man, you know, I question why in the world I didn't read books. It's meditative, it's relaxing, it's informative, it kicks you into a mindset that our present life uh, does not uh, accommodate because everyone's into the immediate so books slow things down uh, important to do having a hard time finding the time to finish books lately but getting into short stories short stories are awesome as well a fish named squish <laughs> welcome back hope you're doing well My concentration level is horrendous. Oh, that was, lost the chat on it. That was Miro, I think. No, that was Eagles and Cycling. Horrendous. Can't ever really focus. Try it. Do it. Most of the books are read, uh, are set in France, Elder God says. I just noticed it as you were talking. Really? Wow, wow. I've been trying to read more as of late. I don't do it often. GBR. Yeah, I think many of us. Skagog bones. I can't read books nowadays. My dopamine level is way too high for all the social, and that's the kicker. We have to get it back to something that our bodies or minds can handle, right? Miro, for me, the hardest thing is getting started. Once I get interested on a book, I can't stop it. I'm like you, Miro, unless I hit something that is like all of a sudden just throws me out a little bit. Absurdicon. Last book I finished was Dragon Wing. Very nice. And I'm halfway through Alvin Star. Very nice. The Death Gate cycle has been getting me back into reading. Previously, I hadn't read a book besides comics and graphics. Yeah. Oh, Absurdicon. You're reading the Death Gate cycle? That really, for me as well, kicked it up to another level of. I was, after I finished the Death Gate cycle, I was like aching for something. Like I had withdrawal symptoms, right? Uh, because it was so brilliant it was so brilliant we're gonna throw the fries in there the water's boiling a little right be careful putting the fries in there
just gonna mix this up so the potatoes are in the water okay apologies if I'm missing some of the chat gang uh, Chicho, have you ever watched them uh, watch the movie two years 12 years a slave 12 years. that was um, in the last few years no I don't think I've seen it young Polax okay I'm gonna put the lid on this but I'm gonna watch it because potatoes when they boil up right they foam over I don't want to make a mess so I'm actually gonna put a little slant on it and then when it starts boiling again it's just gonna knock this thing down and I'm gonna reduce the heat on this down to I had it on high I'm kicking it down to about five I don't want to get it out of hand right bah have you read bah by David uh, no Gina how are you doing hello Chicho and chat padre 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 how are you doing it's an experience that you really can't get anywhere else really great to have a relationship with a, a good book indeed congrats on the 1000 video Chicho hope everyone as well awesome thank you very much for the congrats padre and agreed with you regarding books it's a state of mind you will never get from anything else period right what genre of books does everyone like to read yeah indeed what genre cycling says uh, fantasy Tyson terror seven how are you doing hello Chicho I'm gonna be honest I have never read an actual book I have only finished kids books when I was a kid Tyson when I was in high school I think CS Lewis books are the only books I, I ever finished right all the other books were forced on me and I wasn't a reader really I didn't like reading books but once I got into it man um, really you can't you just it's a discipline you need to get yourself into that state of mind gang we're gonna grind up some potatoes because we're gonna put some potatoes in with the meat mix it up with our hamburger right we need potatoes in there we need onions in there what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna um, shred up the the potatoes throw it in there uh, maybe I should do the onions first uh, let's do the onions first because the potatoes if they sit out a little bit they go darker right uh, so I rather not have them go darker so let's do the onions first now usually I get myself large onion like one big large onion I throw in this we got a whole bunch of little guys the larger is better for cooking because you got less peeling right? so odds are I'm gonna throw in at least seven little guys ah, seven yeah, this is that one big onion I want to throw in seven little guys okay for now maybe we'll do a little bit more raw potatoes very tradition uh, uh, traditional is it a uh, traditional into the hammer let's cut the onions right now get rid of the skin and then we'll chop them all up right. yes hey chicho late to the stream what are you putting on the burgers what am i putting on the burgers um i haven't really figured out what to put on the burgers i i sometimes these burgers just eat solo and by the way one other thing i like with the burgers uh basically just greens uh cilantro parsley dill like sometimes it's just taking the burger and putting maybe well cheese cheese uh, sometimes mayo and then taking a whole bunch of herbs again cilantro parsley Italian parsley dill and stacking it on top and then having like a burger and a herb green sandwich which is absolutely fantastic so good for you so good for you do you keep all the vitamins with the potatoes that way Deckman, uh, 
asked for me. Again, gang, apologies if I'm missing the chat. Sometimes it flies past me. Okay, let's throw these guys in our compost. And then get rid of the the skin of the onions. Let's put that there. I do have a partner, indeed. I have a permanent partner. Which is awesome. She's waiting here for her burgers. <laughs> right? So all I do is just peel this. Right. Hey, come on. There must be an easier way to peel onions, but this is the way I do it. And what I'm going to do as soon as the I'm done with peeling these guys, I'm going to turn on the oven, gang. Get the oven hot enough so we can put the potatoes in there and uh, have them um, uh, have the oven ready when we put the potatoes in when they're ready to turn into fries did you have a list of heavy reading books uh, for history politics man school school never personally motivated me absurdicon to read books they didn't uh fern seeds and elephants wasn't a must mandatory reading book that we had in school screw tape letters was screw tape letters i read uh, but first things and elephants was my choice the other books that i read in high school they were my choice that i finished anyway uh, some i would start and just skim over because we had to answer questions for tests i meant to ask what's your partner does she show similar lines of work to you or some my partner is a nurse that man uh, so through this whole thing that's going on right now she's on the front lines huge respect to frontline workers gang uh, we deal with a lot and uh, we got to give them more support so make lots of burgers and give it to them <laughs> chicho found you on youtube and i'm glad to be here congrats on 1000 videos currently reading the alchemist oh the alchemist alchemist i know the alchemist what did the alchemist the chat uh my hands are dirty otherwise i scroll up and read your name but the chat i can't see your name that <laughs> you posted that King Arthur, nice King Arthur OG, haha. <laughs> By Pablo, Cole. yeah, I've I've heard it, but I've I haven't read it. I've heard about it, but I haven't read it. Oh wow, he must be very proud of her. Hope she is doing well. All things continue. Yeah, yeah, she's doing well, and I am proud of her. Indeed, indeed. Now I'm not gonna cook these like crazy so it gets mushy. I'm gonna cook them enough that they're pre-cooked before I put them in the oven. And I'm gonna turn on the oven right now, gang. And what's gonna happen is, unfortunately, the fan's gonna kick up, so we're gonna have a background noise. And we're gonna cook, cook things up at 420. That's it, I've decided cooking everything at 420. Almost everything. Let's kick this up. Okay. Uh, Tyson, do you watch ASMR videos? And what do you watch if you do? If that's not uh, too intimate. No, it's not too intimate. Uh, for me, I don't watch traditional ASMR videos. As you can tell from the ASMR content that I create, right? I watch... Um, I watch interviews, lectures. I watch educational ASMR that most of it, it's, I don't even, you know, I, I do consider it ASMR because I relax to it. I, I put on videos and I pass out 
uh, to them. But for me, I'm interested in the topic of discussion. So I re I watch a lot of lectures, interviews, uh, and things like that, and I consider those to be ASMR for me. Um, I don't watch role playing stuff. I it doesn't intrigue me very much. Um, I don't watch. Yeah, it's mainly just educational ASMR, and for real educational, not. Uh, role play educational right like i love i love lectures lectures i don't know i've watched hundreds of hours of lectures from uh, like <laughs> a lot <laughs> a lot or audio books or audio talks uh, so that's my main asmr uh, consumption method and the other thing I like as well is sounds. Like, uh, there's a channel that has Star Trek sounds, right? Oh, so cool. So, like, hours upon hours of Star Trek sounds and uh, science fiction sounds, uh, white noise sounds. So I don't know if people consider that ASMR. I think there's a word for it that's other than ASMR, but I, I don't know what it is. Screw tape was required, Padre says. Very interesting. A lot of books I had uh, to read for school. I just got the uh, spark notes. Yeah, smart notes. <laughs> or for me, it was Cole's notes. Yeah, I went to, uh, for first three years of high school, I went to a Catholic school. So that's why it was mandatory uh, reading. And it was fantastic. And they had mere Christianity as mandatory reading as well, uh, which I read, which was cool as well. I consider C.S. Lewis not to be, uh, well, I consider him to be an intellectual read, someone that gets you thinking about possibilities. Right? Looking back, I wish I would have read them, but I didn't want to read them because it was where, yeah. Padre, yeah, all every kid in school i think you there are things we should be learning in school which unfortunately the centralized education system doesn't motivate us to learn and and it's our our to our benefit if we do learn them or read them but because they're so horrendous at explaining to you why and engaging you that we do things that are detrimental to our own well-being, which is pathetic, really. Carlos, good afternoon, Chicho. Greetings and good vibes, brother. Provecho, which is Mexican, means hope you enjoy your meal. Nice. Provecho. 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 I don't think I'm pronouncing that right. And thank you. I'm gonna put a lot of onions in. King Arthur. Hey Chicho, hope you don't mind me asking, but are you Persian? Asking because I've seen you cook Persian dishes and because I'm half Persian. I'm, uh, like people ask me what I am. I'm Armenian ancestry, born in Iran, and West Coast Canadian mentality. So I'm Armenian, Persian, uh, Canadian, uh, and yeah, I cook Persian food because that's what I grew up with and that's what I, uh, our family eats a lot of, right? And Armenian food. So that's my main type of food that I've grown up with, which is amazing, right? Really, Persian food is one of the uh, most diverse types of cuisines that I know of. So many different types of dishes that you can make and so healthy for you lots of beans lots of herbs lots of greens um, they add meat for flavoring and some of the dishes they have are meat centric but people don't eat those very much or often right a lot of their dishes there are bean centric as well right lots of beans in their stews and whatnot so it's 
very good for you very good for you uh, Tyson that's cool yeah sounds are a big part of ASMR I found your content through ASMR I get triggers from visuals and sounds together but I use it to help me sleep and relax my mind at the end of the day yeah me too me too like sometimes I put on extremely heavy lectures to relax and it does the job I know it's a weird thing to say but uh, it's the delivery that matters to me right and the content keeps me interested wanting to continue listening or watching that man regrettably I have never partaken in Persian Ooh, the best place to eat Persian food is in a Persian household uh, you can go to restaurants you'll get a sort of a feel for what it should be but uh, and there are some good Persian restaurants out there but homemade food is it's something else it's something else really gang I'm gonna cut up some onions so I'm gonna focus on this okay apologies if I'm gonna miss the chat I'm just gonna check the potatoes right now speedy Gonzalez style just give them a little mix And what I want to do, I'm going to bring out a fork. Let's put this here. And for me to know if the potatoes are in good state, good state, uh, if they're ready to be pulled out, I put my fork in it. And if it's not breaking up, oh, these are almost ready. I'm going to take care of the potatoes first, gang before I chop up the onions let's check it out here I'll show you steaming goggles or glasses take a look here, let's see here I'm gonna break this oh this one's not this one's thicker take a look All right. it goes in that one's not ready yet the little guy was apart you know what I'm gonna give this thing a couple of more minutes okay so I'm not gonna chop up the onions yet I'm gonna take off the glasses because I got some work to do Chicho I'm sure it's pretty obvious I don't read by my uh, I don't read by my grammar Tyson says okay let's do this I'm gonna put parchment paper on a couple of trays. I use parchment paper, that way I reduce the amount of oil I have to use. Okay. He's ready. Good enough. So we got that guy ready. I'm just gonna wait until this cooks a little bit. I'm gonna dump it into this guy. Take a look. I'm gonna dump it in this guy, just a strainer in the sink, right? And then I'm gonna run cold water over it, okay? Once I run the cold water, I'm gonna throw it, throw the potatoes in the bowl, right? And I'm gonna add oil, I'm gonna mix it up, and then we're gonna put it into the tray and put them in the oven. that's the process and I'm not gonna salt them yet I salt them when they're being ready when I'm doing a little bit of flipping and then I salt them okay and I'm gonna bring this uh, well we're gonna use just a uh, just a regular salt that we have salute gang Emily how are you doing cheers I'm gonna move the onions because we're gonna use this I'm gonna show you what I'm doing put that there and this is good I'm gonna move this guy over hot 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 hot
gonna put some water on this. Now we're just gonna transfer this guy here and turn this this element off. I'm just gonna leave this here for a little bit of time. Okay. Cheers, Chicho, Matt says. On three whiskey personally, <laughs> anyone else uh, treat themselves? <laughs> I brought a couple of blackberry liqueurs here because this one's running a little bit low, right? So this one's a little bit more full, just in case I'm gonna run low. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be joining you. Okay, so let's throw in some water. whenever I'm using a bowl or anything with potatoes in it after the potatoes are gone I usually run water on it that way the starch doesn't get stuck there it's easier to clean now the amount of oil I'm gonna put in this I'm just gonna eyeball it right just gonna put enough so they're gonna be nicely you know covered in oil now what we got to do is this is hot hot Hot, 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 hot. Okay, we're gonna mix this with spoons right now. Hot, 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 hot. I'm just gonna mix them with these guys, right? And some of these break, right? Because they're not consistent, all the same width and length and stuff, right? Which is fine, you get little fries, little broken fries and stuff. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Chicho, what kind of uh, meat are you using today? Uh, if there is any meat, of course. There is meat, I'm using ground beef. Take a look. Ground beef, lean ground beef. I got six pounds there. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. And again, uh, I forget who it was that said they add spices and stuff. You can add spices and whatnot to this as well, right? Uh, I do like putting in mint, dried mint on these as well, but right now I just want straight up fries. nicely soaked with oil right good now let's put this on the side we're gonna bring our trays and put uh, potatoes in there and the buzzer you you heard is the oven hitting 420 right we got our parchment paper on this right so all I'm gonna do is just spread out the fries on here And this takes a while, by the way, again, uh, for them to cook, to become French fry. Right? And you don't want them sitting on top of each other. You want it to be spread out. Okay. And the reason I'm, kick, I'm putting it at 420 is because the parchment tape paper is set up to take a maximum of 425 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, right? So I'm flying just under the 425. I'm not kicking up to the max. I'm going at 420, right? 
I'm pretty sure it's 425. Oops, we just smacked our camera. Let's put this guy here. We're good? Yeah. Let's check it out. There we go. We'll put this guy back. The oven hit 420, so I'm by <laughs> Carlos said. Now we're baking, now we're baking, now we're baking. Let's put more of these guys in. And we're gonna have enough to make at least two trays when the meat is being cooked as well, right? So this is gonna be sort of a hors d'oeuvre, like appetizer for us, just a munch on. Because the potatoes take a while to cook. Longer than the meat, really. This way. If I use a lot of oil and don't use the parchment paper, I can kick things up to broil. Cook it up much faster. Uh, this way it just takes longer. But it uh, saves you a little bit of time. You're not dealing with a whole bunch of oils and stuff. GBR, thank you for using up the points. If this was an auction, you'd win something, maybe. You'd be the first bidder on it anyway. Salute, Ken. Let's throw this in there. So what we're gonna do now is take this. So we've got this much left, a lot of potatoes. And we're gonna cut up our onions because we're gonna start putting the meat together, right? the burgers together okay this guy we're gonna let this guy cool down because once this guy cools down we can just do things here we'll bring the meat here and let's change the water cool it down even more I find one of the best ways to cool down an element is take a pot, if the element is hot, just add cold water and let it sit on there, right? Auction a hamburger. I wish I could send it to you guys Speedy Gonzalez style, but it won't work. I start the bidding at 500 for a burger. I'm crazy looking forward to these burgers, really gang. Now, the onions I'm gonna cut fine, okay? So we're gonna get them. Pretty small. Now you know why it's easier if you're dealing with a big onion than a lot of small onions, right? Because a lot of small onions take up more time. And it becomes trickier when you get to the ends of it, right? You gotta be more careful. So remember, we've got six pounds of beef, right? Screw the points. If a burger is up for auction, then I'm bidding cash. <laughs> Carlos, that's... <laughs> oh, buddy. I actually should bring out... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, some bread as well. And we will. Once we put the burgers in, we'll put out the bread and toast up a couple of pieces of bread and actually make a burger but one of the other ways i love eating the burgers is uh, just with rice rice dish right so it just becomes like a meatloaf type of flavor of a burger because they are very flavorful uh, and you got your fries you got greens you got pickles you got herbs uh, so it's not necessary to really have bread with the burgers but it is fantastic right and flatbread oh wow with flatbread like pita bread and stuff man you can make yourself wraps that rock right oh by the way another thing that um, we can put on the burgers as well is something called soma it's like a flower um, petals of a flower from a tree and it's sort of a spice and it's amazing I'll show it to you once we get this done. Or we'll, I'll show it to you once we start eating the burgers.
And you could definitely use a grinder or shredder for this, like one of these things, right? But I just like doing it this way. For the potatoes, we're gonna use that. And what I'm gonna do is actually put a timer on. Let's go, let's go 30 minutes right now for the potatoes that are in the oven. And you can definitely throw the onions in a Quiznar and do it that way too, right? Break them all down. Do you play music for the plants? And if so, what do you like? Uh, we play music for us and whoever's or whatever's in our in our living space. So the plants definitely enjoy a lot of music at our house for sure. And usually we're playing. Uh, every now and then I crank up the metal and hip-hop but usually we're playing electronic music in the home anyway for me i for the most part i listen to my hip-hop and metal when i'm going for walks headphones on or ear ear plugs on and just go crazy with them i enjoy those a lot actually very meditative for me anyway Is this enough onions? No, we're gonna do a couple more. Chicho the man, burger. See, death 420, how are you doing? Oh yeah, raw onions or burgers is amazing as well, by the way. When was the last time you had the uh, gim gim game? I don't know what that is. I, oh, game khoresh? You mean khoresh game? Game khoresh? Is that what you mean? Game khoresh? I haven't had for a while, man. I have the recipe. Maybe we we'll make someday. Onion overload. Mm, onion. Onion is good. Six pounds of beef, this many onions, more. Let's do the whole thing. Yeah, game I haven't had for a long time, man. Kindred spirit, sir. Carlos Chicho, what's that old school sort of underground group you liked about in music uh, stream years ago? If you remember, I think there was a woman in the group. Uh, they were sort of socially, politically conscious. Wow, there's a few of them. I can't remember. Was it hip hop? Was it hip hop? Or was it, uh, what was it? Yes, it was hip hop. So, um, Oh, um, they were uh, they were English hip hop, weren't they? Uh, Carlos, are we talking about the English hip hop? That Kate, hey Chicho, and everyone, hamburgers and fries, best food ever. Was it British? Uh, they were all. What was their name? They were really good. Oh, they were fantastic. Menudo, oh, uh, Mandungo? That, that wasn't hip hop. That was uh, more funk, funkadelic, 70s. <sighs> Fantastic music. Yes, it was uh, uh, Menudo, post Ricky Martin. Ha <laughs> ha. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. It could be them. And by the way, Boney M was very political. Boney M had some amazing music, by the way. So here's our onions. Let's throw this in. These are beef. Six pounds, right? Yeah, we're gonna throw this all these onions in there. That's our onions. Let's grind up some uh, potatoes. Now for the potatoes, I'm gonna throw in, we use the uh, rusket, rusket potatoes for the french fries. We're gonna use some just uh, yellow potatoes, golden potatoes for what we're gonna put in the hamburgers. Okay, I'm gonna feed, <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna make a whole ton, eat a lot, and then freeze a whole bunch and we have it in the freezer whenever we want burgers we pop them out and we eat them right Oops. so i'm going to use these guys right i'm going to put how many of these guys i'm going to th put three large ones three maybe four okay. maybe four we'll see how much three gets and when i shred them up like this i'm gonna get rid of the water i'm gonna squeeze them you can see the water coming out okay i must say i find cooking sounds really induce a smart indeed gina uh for me in the occasional uh, beeping sound i enjoy the natural uh cadence of your voice <laughs> thanks man <laughs> thanks gina Tyler Taylor, Chicho, you should check out the band I Built the Sky, very talented metal band that have some awesome acoustic songs that are amazing. Oh, really? Link it up in our Discord, brother. I love funk uh, synth pop synth pop yeah party all the time by Eddie Mur Mur uh, Murphy is such a good song 70s music was fantastic really there was some amazing 70s music around let me bring this over here so you guys see what it is I'm doing books gang we're gonna talk about books twist how are you doing K 
King Arthur. Oh, gee, H.H.O., what a great stream. Look forward to chatting the next one. Uh, gonna go. It's late here in France. Keep it up, man. Thank you, brother. Hope you have a good time in France. And if you're in France, man, you like metal, Gorgia. Gorgia is amazing. Fantastic. I saw them live. Fantastic French metal. Yeah, Gorgia. I don't know if that's how you spell it, but they're really good. Really sincere, like fantastic metal, great energy. That's Godzilla in Japanese. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like educational books and fantasy and science fiction. Those are my uh, knowledge and science fiction fantasy. Those are my two go-to books that I read. Let's put this guy here for now. Okay, so this is how much potatoes we got. Let me show you. So that was three large potatoes, right? This is the potatoes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze out the juice from these. Let the right one in. Oh, there's, they made a movie out of that. I saw the movie, it's fantastic. Micro Twist from the Swedish author John Ogg, uh, one of the best books I have I've read. The movie, the movie is, oh man, I like the, I like the movie. The movie was fantastic. It was nowhere near the book. Yeah. Salute, Ken. So check this out. The movie, I love the movie, man. The movie was great. See this? Take the potatoes, squeeze out the juice, right? And then put this in with the meat. The book is brutal and raw. So many fucked up things happen. Yeah, in general, uh, that goes with graphic novels as well, comic books. The comic books are way more brutal than any movie that uh, they make from based on comic books. The movie is nothing compared to the book. Okay, compared to it. They skip so many things. And yeah, it's too, barely a two hour movie, right? But it was a good movie. Cheryl, how are you doing? McTwist, more brutal than uh, McCarthy's The Road? The Road was fantastic. The movie, was the book brutal? Was the book more brutal than the movie, Cheryl? By the way, welcome. See this? I might actually grind up one more potato as well. <laughs> I sure. Now, I don't know if this is all starch or hopefully we're not losing too many minerals when we're doing this. I don't know and I don't know what else to do with the with the juice than to dump it if you guys have any ideas of what to do with this let me know I'm gonna grind up one more one more let's put this here That the right one in was shot by Hayo Van, uh, one of the, my favorite cinematographers. He's done multiple Christopher Nolan movies as well. Oh, really? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do. Oh no, we're not gonna use these potatoes. We're gonna use. 
these potatoes. Nice. I'm gonna do two more. Okay. Actually, let's check on the potatoes. Nice. And what we can do is, here, let me turn off this camera as well. Because we don't need this right now. Once I get the patties going, we'll set up this camera and take the patties here. So let me turn this off. Is that the right one? That is the right one. Boop. There we go. any more potatoes so this is good by the way gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm missing them but some of these things that i'm doing i gotta make sure i'm watching what i'm doing squeeze this out again right the juices okay where is it seriously there's got to be minerals and stuff in here eh? no i wonder what you could do with the juice of uh, potatoes Juice liqueur. <laughs> Add it to the compost. Add it to the compost. Yeah. Yeah. True. Instead of pouring it down the drain, just add it to the compost. There's got to be nice minerals in there, eh? Or just give it to the pots. Just, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll just do that. I'll dump it into the pots outside on the patio. What goes into tomato uh, potato soup? I don't know. I've never heard of adding shredded potatoes to burgers. Yeah, it's really good. There you go. I'll add this to the pots outside later. Okay, gang. Let me show you what I'm going to do now. You can take the juice of potatoes and add it to the other grains to increase the starch content oh really not a bad idea potato juice is said to retain about half of the nutrients that are traditional servings of potato potatoes offer really so half the nutrients of the potatoes are in that juice oh i don't feel like uh, i don't know if i maybe next time i won't squeeze out the juices add some oregano into the potato juice and some lemon and then what and this is coffee by the way gang it's safe to drink hmm. never thought about it 
So it's got lots of nutrients. I gotta, I'm gonna look this up. I'll look this up online. Check this out. Here's our six pounds of beef with a whole bunch of onions cut up. And how many potatoes? Five, I guess. <laughs> One person he says, right? Now we're gonna add breadcrumbs. So let me put this over here. here. We don't need the cutting board anymore. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Just clean up my workspace a little. Clean up your workspace. Some leftover potatoes hanging around. Okay. Let's do that. Now we're gonna add breadcrumbs. Now this is breadcrumbs that I just uh, made this morning. I took bread that we have and toasted it up in the oven on the oven right and then when it was all crispy i um i put it in a cuisinart thing or ground it up and homemade breadcrumbs right i like drinking kale or spinach juice okay not very yummy but healthy for you yeah any green juice is amazing for you right will you put an egg in it yeah in the burgers i'm gonna put because we've got six pounds of ground beef, I'm gonna put three eggs in this. Okay, so three eggs is gonna go in there. And I'm gonna put uh, three, should we put three? Breadcrumbs, yeah, I'm gonna put three cups of breadcrumbs in here, okay? So, one. Two. Looks like I'm going to put all of it in here. Yeah. All of it. Whatever that was. It was about a jar this much of breadcrumbs. So basically three cups of breadcrumbs in this. Okay. We're going to put some baking soda in this. Combine a green with things that taste good. Right? I'm going to put one, yeah, one teaspoon of baking soda, okay. Let's say, let's say three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, okay. Ah, a little bit more. Let's say one teaspoon of baking soda. What is baking soda stuff for? I never knew. What it it uh, retains moisture. It makes the uh, the hamburgers juicier, and it gives it a certain flavor. Don't put too much, because it's a strong flavor. Okay, it's a strong flavor. I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of salt. I might add more later. Okay, uh, not teaspoons. Sorry, tablespoons of salt. Eldergod, now, yeah, by the way, gang, breadcrumbs optional. Eldergod, sorry, breadcrumbs optional, but it does taste good with it. Okay, so one. And a half. Okay. That's a lot of burgers. And three three eggs. Okay, here are the eggs. Check this out. One of our friends just uh, they put a hen house, or they they have a hen house in their uh, in their backyard, and they just started raising chickens. They have four chickens, and we just bought a dozen eggs just from the neighborhood in their backyard, and they're fed well. They're taken care of. They're like pets. So fantastic eggs local organic down the block eggs right so and they have thick shells these these eggs i've never seen 
thick shells like this, like crazy thick shells. Like they eat really well, these chickens. gonna check on the fries first we're down to five minutes left on the timer Ooh, nice okay let's move this guy I'm gonna show you what the fries looks like I don't need this anymore let's do this here let's turn on the camera and I'm gonna show you this The yolks are uh, not bad. They're pretty dark. I should have shown you the yolks. Take a look. Can you see that? That's a good color. They run around free in the backyard. They give them like bananas and like they give them the eggshells. It, like, <laughs> like, it's crazy what they're giving them. Take a look. Now what I do when I'm adding salt, I add salt now. So, where's our salt shaker? Nice. Actually, I'm gonna use some Himalayan salt, right? And we wanna flip these. Like the fries are pretty much done, right? Watch. Fantastic. Crunchy. Hot, hot, hot. Hot, hot, hot. Let's put this guy here for now. Let's see how the other one's doing. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Check it out. Huh? And they're a little dry actually right now. Not bad. I've made better before. Nice job on those fries. Thanks. They're a good snack. So, let's do this. Do mm, I have a bowl here? Is there a bowl? No, I've already used that one up. Here, I'm going to put it in this. And the beauty of using parchment paper, right? Here, let me... Actually, that's okay. I'm going to do this. You can just grab it like this, right? Lift up the parchment paper and just transfer the fries over. Right. And the parchment paper you can use again. Too dry, have to eat them all <laughs> to do another one match. And one thing I like with um, fries, mayo dip. Do we have any mayo? So one thing, one thing I do for French fries, take hot sauce, homemade hot sauce or friends made, right? And take mayo, mix it together and use it as a dip. So I'm gonna snack on these while we do cooking.
going on as problem was what what did Elmer Khan do, Mr. Mr. Hezekiah? Hezekiah. That fry looks good. I will try make some tonight. Thanks for the idea. And also thank you so much for all the how-to study videos on YouTube. They really help me. I'm grateful for meeting you and your content now. Uh, Dan, Dan set thank you very much. I'm glad you found the content uh, helpful. And fries, once you start making fries, man, fries from, from bot fries, they really don't, they're not as good. Take a look. Give it a little spin. I'm gonna move my books away so they don't get damaged. Okay. Mm, where is our? And when you're taking stuff out of the, yeah, we have mustard too, but I like it with the hot sauce and the mayo. This one cool a little bit before I munch on it. And the hot sauce and the mayo is actually really good with the burgers as well, right? Here's a hot sauce. This hot sauce is crazy hot. All right. I'm just gonna take a little bit. All right. Mix it in. And of course, to taste, right? If you like it hotter, you do it hotter. Make another one because I want to take it to my partner. I'll keep the actually, this is pretty good too. See that? And let's have one of these guys. Very yummy. All right? Pretty good. <laughs> really good. <laughs> right? And I like different sizes, right? The bigger ones are juicier and the smaller ones are crunchier. So it's not all the same size. How do you sell? Mm hmm. For sure. Very yummy. So again, just transfer it into a bowl. Okay. Grab the parchment paper, and it goes. So that's a nice amount of fries, right? Fantastic. Really good. And you can dip it. Just a little bit, not much. And one thing I love with fries, a <laughs> nice amount of fries, we're gonna make more, is doing multiple fry dips together, right? Very yummy. what I love about cooking you're eating before everybody else <laughs> well you have to know if it's good or not right you got no choice 
you know, if you have to do more to it, you do more to it, right? Oh, look at that. Okay, very young. Enough sampling. But. We're gonna take a little bit to our partner. We gotta share food, right? Chicho, you should try fries with uh, I, I'm, Ajva, Iva, 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 like the fruit. Making brana bread tonight. Nice. I'll be back in thirty seconds. Fun, fun. Okay, gang, we're gonna mix up the meat, okay? How long do you keep the fries in the oven, Chicho? Uh, it took about, uh, we put a timer of 30 minutes after about five, so about 30 minutes they were done, okay? Cooking at 420. You're currently making them awesome young pole eggs. And by the way, take a look at them. Every oven is a little different, right? So take a look, open it, open it up. If you think it's ready, grab it, bring it out, give it a shake, put some salt on it, have a taste. If you want it crunchier, put it back in, right? But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna mix up these burgers. Now I'm gonna go in, hold on, I'm gonna pop a couple more fries before I do this. And I'm gonna pour myself another drink. <laughs> 420, very nice. The parchment paper. See this? The parchment paper says it's good to, let me see if I can see this, 425, right? So it's good for 425 Fahrenheit. So we're gonna fly under the radar at 420, right? So we don't want things to burn, so we wanna guarantee it, so we're gonna go under it. It's a veggie patty made out of eggplants. Oh, paprika, eggplants, paprika, paprika tomatoes, zucchini, and such. It's basically orange and a um, better tomato sauce. Oh. Wait a second, it's like ikra. Is that like ikra? I wanna pour myself another drink, by the way, first. Okay. <laughs> Dr. V's liking the 420 gig. Blackberry liqueur, homemade, right? Ikra, I don't know how it's spelled, man. I don't know how Ikra is spelled. What kind of uh, liqueur? Blackberry. Salute, gang. Okay, I'm gonna pop a couple more fries before I get into this meat, okay? eating fries like this it's like serious comfort food I'm gonna put the mayo on the hot sauce back okay now time to 
time to get down to business. Yeah, I do. You know what? Those periods that I've made a lot of seafood, there's periods that I don't. Right now, I haven't been making too much seafood. One of the reasons I haven't hit up seafood as, as much because the oceans are extremely polluted now. Like, really, uh, the stuff I've read... Uh, first of all, I don't want farm stuff. And getting the oceans is not a good idea to a certain degree, depending on where you are, right, or what type of stuff you're getting. So you have to be careful with the seafood, in my opinion. Okay. Well, I'm putting my oven on to 250 C. I will do less for the next time. But on mine, nothing is written about the max heat. On the parchment paper, yeah, yeah. The parchment tape paper has a max on it. Be careful with it, right? Chicho, do you remember what the best burger you ever had was? The best burger I ever had? My burgers. These things. Like, really. Salud, Ken. I'm going in. Did I get everything in here? Before you go in with your hands to mix this up, I'm going to go in with one hand first, right? Because I want to keep one hand free, but I might go in with both, right? My diet is heavy in seafood. Yeah, Elder God. Like, be careful where you're getting your seafood. Uh, Fukushima, yikes. Fukushima, yikes. Really, gang. Chernobyl, bigger, dumped in on the oceans. And all the other pollutants that are going in. Like, I've done environmental work in the 90s for 10 years. I have a pretty good idea of how we've been treating the environment. It's horrendous. It's horrendous. It's insane. Okay, so... We got the salt. We got the baking soda. We got the uh, breadcrumbs. We got the onions. We got the potatoes. Animals alike. Yeah, it's horrendous. And animals. And the way we treat every other living species and the environment on this little blue dot that we're traveling through space is insane okay let's mix it up it's gonna take some mixing to do right because there's six pounds of meat here But well, once you get past the first little, then what we should do actually, what I do usually with this is, after I mix it well, I usually fry up a little bit in the pan, just to see if the salt is enough, if, well, the eggs is enough. It's mainly because of the salt. I want to see what the salt is like, right? The color of the yolk is amazing. Good eggs. Very happy that our friends are making, uh, not making, but raising chickens. One of the benefits of only going in with one hand is you can still eat with the second hand. <laughs> so the name Ajivar comes from the Turkish word Hayvar, which means salted roe and shares a etymology with caviar oh okay coming from the persian word caviar oh okay okay i like caviar caviar on butter and toast oh my god so good and gang when you're doing this if you're gonna make the burgers, bring the meat out of the freezer a couple of hours before you go, you know, you start making your burgers. That way it's not as cold, it's reach room temperature, it mixes easier, okay? Chisho, what kind of sauce, pans and pots do you use? What material uh, do they have? Nonstick, uh, cast iron. 
mainly cast iron we do use uh, steel pots as well and uh, ceramic cast iron ones but cast iron pans we use a lot right. i think it's steel anyway non-stick no wait no way <laughs> teflon no 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 never teflon teflon uh, bad idea so non-stick wise cast iron pads that's it and i use the parchment paper and the parchment paper paper is silicon so that's safe as far as i know if i find find out otherwise uh i'll just make the stuff in cast iron pans right you know what i think we're gonna do we're gonna fry up a, one little guy just to make sure the salt the smell is good from the smell i can tell if it's enough baking soda or not or if it's too much baking soda if you end up using baking soda you'll get a feel for it and i should weigh this i should tell you how much this total weight is on this as well Chicho, Shaya, that's good chicken, Carnal. Thinking about the chicken mix, my Carnal. I have no idea what, old oh, guy. Hard time reading your comments. I, I find ceramic very good, but you have to use wood. Yeah, wood spoons or chopsticks. Yeah, you got to be very gentle if you're using metal with it. And ceramic has a problem of chipping every now and then. And once the ceramic chips, it's not the best idea to continue to use in the pots. Yeah, Teflon, forget about it, man. Te Anarchism, get rid of the Teflon, like, right now. Like, the kicker is, it's not even good throwing those things in the garbage because they seep out into the environment, right? Yeah, like around. Yeah, doctor. I'm with Doctor P. Like, get rid of Teflon now. Okay, no joke. Teflon is some evil uh, shiz shizniz. <laughs> Cast iron is so heavy, though. Yeah, it is. Cast iron is indeed heavy. So you want to do this until it's nice and consistent, when you don't have any meat that doesn't. You know, it's not all mixed together or any chunks of potatoes or onions. And this is pretty good right now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... The beauty with these guys is they cool down really fast. So, let's put this over here. Balance this baby on there. Let's bring out... cast iron here's our cast iron right it is heavy-ish but stay in shape as you get older cast iron becomes harder of course right so i'm going to kick this up the temperature on this okay i'm putting it on you know six out of nine i'm gonna throw a little bit in there just to cook it up oh we've got the oil in this almost forgot the oil i'm gonna add some oil if you're gonna use uh, like if you're gonna use ground beef as well so this was lean six pounds of lean beef right ideally they didn't have any just regular ground right ideally if i was gonna do this i would have used four pounds of lean and two pounds of just regular ground beef or two pounds of medium, right? Or would have done 50-50 with lean and medium or the ratio, what is that? Uh, one to three, one to two, or two to one, right? So add oil if you're just using ground. And the oven is still going, so I'm not going to turn it off. I'm using uh, olive oil. 
Okay, I know olive oil is not supposed to be going into high heat, but it's only 420. It's not cooking for a long time. I'm not frying it, so I'm using olive oil. Avocado is good too, by the way. Cheryl, I love Emanuel cast iron. Yeah, we have those as well. And glazed ceramic. It can be expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth it, but heavy, Cheryl. I'll show you a couple of pots we have, which they're beautiful, but man, heavy. Just checking the temperature on this. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt in here too. Not salt, a little bit of oil in this too. Okay. I'm just gonna take a little bit and cook it up. Just a little. When I start making the patties, I'm gonna use both hands. fries hmm. I should have waited a little bit longer you want to go sizzle All right salute So medium heat is okay for olive oil. And 420 is, I don't know, it's, it's not extreme, right? Cheryl to Anarchism. There are a lot of manufactured manufacturers for glazed iron. Lee Croset is a common one. I prefer a few Emil, Emil heavy glazed ceramic pieces that are designed for stovetop use as well but whew, salty it's with uh, craigslist let's see let's cook this up i have some fries fries and hot sauce Good snack. Mm. No, we're gonna make it in the oven. Okay, I'm only doing this one. Whenever I make burgers, I usually fry up a little one, taste it just to make sure there's enough salt in it. And if there's enough salt, then I start making the patties, put them in the trays, and throw them in the oven. Okay, the hot sauce is mayo. Lonely Piggy, how you doing? Mayo and homemade hot sauce that a friend of ours gave to us like a couple of years ago and it's fantastic. So it's just mayo and hot sauce together. It's this. Mayo and hot sauce, homemade hot sauce. And he picked the, he grew the peppers, picked the peppers. Um, like, can't ask for more than that, right? And the mayo is avocado mayo. Have you ever uh, tried making burgers out of uh, chickpeas? Oh, I, uh, so you're talking uh, falafel, really, right? Falafel I have. I prefer the meat. <laughs> I prefer the meat. You can actually flip this with a fork. Should be able to. Yeah, perfect. How spicy is the home? The homemade hot sauce is insanely spicy. Like crazy spicy. 
like in this thing this is almost all mayo i put and i've already had some right so i put this mayo and i put like a quarter of a teaspoon or a third of a teaspoon of hot sauce and mixed it all together so it's really spicy <laughs> like <laughs> really it's pretty spicy <laughs> he was like chicho this thing is super spicy i went no nah, i can't be that spicy ate a little bit like, oh my god that's super spicy right and it's kept for a long time so it's fantastic nice looking good looking good looking good coolio how you doing coolio i just got this new sauce i'm going to try on my home oh you were cool coolio early that's right homemade burritos tonight it's a habanero base so it's got some kick nice skag bones i have a what do you have I have a Greek restaurant near me and their falafels are out of this world. Really meat paprika, like in addition to their yogurt band. Yeah, Greek yogurt is pretty good. Nice and fatty. Man, I wish I could handle my uh, spice better. The leaking noise is always a pain. <laughs> yeah. I used to be able to do hot sauce way better. Now I'm going to chill with it. I'm gonna kick this down a little bit because we're not gonna use it past this. We're just gonna make one and decide on the on the salt level, and then if that's good, we're just gonna start putting our uh, patties together. That's a big cap of a day it keeps the fucking cancer away. <laughs> Nice. Right, and it cooks super fast. Take a look. Right. So that's cooked up already. So I'm going to turn the sucker off. I'm going to throw a fork. And bring out a little plate. I still got my hands dirty, right? From the mixing. So I'm not cleaning the mixing hand yet because I want to taste this. Let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. Grab the goodies. Okay. And we want to remove this guy. Where's our little holder? Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Here. I'm going to do a little, play a little uh, Tetris here, gang, for a second. Let's take this out. Okay. Let me put that there. Let it cool down. Okay. So... Here's the burger. Let's have a little taste. Mm. Very good. Pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Take a look. A little bit more salt. How much more? I'm gonna decide right now. I'm gonna add a little salt to this. Just add a little salt up top. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. hop. Cool, yo. It's beef. <laughs> I'm hungry now. Thank you, Joe. You're welcome. So, I'm gonna add, just from this, okay, just enough to kick up the salt level, just a tad, right? So I would say, you would consider this adding 
still one and a half, really. Just adding a little bit extra. Okay. <laughs> All you do is gonna cool your own twist. <laughs> Thanks. It's the internet. I like the internet. Uh, for me, I'm past half a century, brother. I hope you make it here one day. And beyond. And beyond. Chicho's is the most loud. Oh no! <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> there you go, awesome Coolio. Serge is my younger brother, I think by a few months. Not really, of course, gang, right? For anyone new here. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt here. Speak on system now. Chicho, thoughts on their music? Thoughts on their music? I like their music. I wrote a review. Go Chicho, uh, System of a Down review. You'll get an article that I wrote in 2006 about their music. Okay, gang, time to make the patties. You could get away with it in a few years as an imposter for sure. I think so too. I could get away with it right now, I think. Oh, the new music? The new music, the, I like the instrumentals. The lyrics could have been tighter. Okay, but it was a rush job for them. For obvious reasons, right? Fries. Mm -hmm. Let's make some patties game. Um, um, half a century plus. Okay, one more, one more salute before I get in here with both hands. Salute, gang. Mm -mm. Chicho's living out his teenage years. God, I hope not. Because that was a little chaotic. So the patties, right? And they stick together nicely. You can make it whatever size you want. I like making them big enough so you can make a nice burger from it. By the way, gang, if you're in high school, if you're in school, if you didn't pay attention to mathematics, learn mathematics learn mathematics it can only improve your life okay if you get a bad teacher teach math to yourself it is the most powerful tool that you can have at your disposal to help you achieve whatever it is you want to achieve okay really learn mathematics and these would be amazing barbecued as well by the way right So we're actually gonna make all these into patties, by the way, okay? And we're gonna make some today. We'll make some, keep some in the fridge for tomorrow to make fresh, maybe. Actually, these burgers are really good uh, leftover as well, so. Uh, and I'm gonna make some, some of the patties and put them in the freezer, so whenever we want, we just bring out the patties and cook them up and eat them up. Right. Math and geometry are my favorites. Good for me. Yeah. Good for you. Good for everyone. Right. I could squish these down a little bit more, but we'll leave it like this. Maybe in the next tray, I'll make them a little bit smaller. Flatter. These will just puff up. Don't become. Right. 
You can give him a little squish. Right. Now, I need to put these. I have to wash my hand, one hand, so I'm gonna wash both hands. Are we baking these? We're baking these. We're baking these at 420. Okay, truffles. Use it just a small rag when I'm dealing with uh, raw meat. Just give it a hands a wash. That way I don't want raw meat hand everywhere, right? That one I put in the second bottom level. The next one I'm gonna put higher up, okay? Mm, delicious. Salute. Baked burgers are fantastic, Carlos. Baked burgers are really good. Barbecue burgers are fantastic. Fried burgers are really good. The only burgers that aren't very good is raw burgers. And it's nice. You get little chunks of onion sticking out and stuff, right? So the onion... Actually, I'm making these just as big, so... We're making big burgers today. Burgers are good burgers, yeah, indeed, <laughs> right? Once we put this one in, uh, oh, I should put a timer on here, right? So you guys know what is up. So we're going to put a timer of da -da 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 25 minutes. Uh, let's make it 20 minutes. We'll take a look at it in 20 minutes, okay? <laughs> My burgers aren't good burgers. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless you really have. No, 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 no. I'm not even going to go there. Right. Not very good at all. Steak tartare is very yummy. I've had steak tartare. Uh, you know what? It tastes good, but just the thought of what I was eating, uh, I just wasn't into it. And um, in the Middle East, the Arab world has has that. And I think steak tartare is French, no, Cheryl? Sure. I forget what it's called uh, in Arabic. I know uh, I went to a wedding, Arab Arabic wedding once, and they had it. These are going to be big burgers, actually. Steak tartare is French indeed. I hate it. I'm growing out my beard for the winter, Padre says. I've had the goatee all year and it's time for the full be beast to be free. Haha. <laughs> Mine's long overdue, but I think I might do sooner rather than later. Oh I couldn't I couldn't eat it. Eat it if I didn't know where the meat or eggs came from. Yeah, yeah, that's the kicker, right? If you're gonna do that, you better know where that stuff came from. I had a friend uh, that she used to eat raw liver. It was like, oh, it was pretty serious business. In, fr in France, they're putting a yolk on top, wow. So I'm fitting nine on a tray here right now, right? You could probably fit, um, we could probably fit 12 if you make them smaller, okay? So let's do this. What I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna put this in there too. I'm gonna give my hands another wash. I'm gonna put this in there too.
and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring out some wax paper and we're gonna make the rest of these into patties right we're gonna make the rest of these into patties and I'm gonna put them in a tray and I'll deal with them uh, later how much goes in the freezer how much stays out and what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna make some uh, fresh french fries okay. while the burger is cooking Why not? For this one, we're gonna put in wax paper and start layering the patties, right? I'm gonna cut a couple more, have it ready. to go on top of it, okay. right. And let's make these patties. I'm gonna to try to make these ones a little bit smaller. Okay. I don't know how successful I'm gonna be because this, these uh, casserole dishes are not as wide as the pans. So I wanna fit three per row. Right. Three side by side. Cook one day, eat multiple days. Even a little bit smaller too. Oh, I was gonna weigh all this to see how much the whole thing weighed. Oh well. And it's sticking together nicely, keeping us form. Finally catch one of these, these for the first time. Metal Zuna one. Welcome, welcome to our live stream. New viewer here. Love your channel. Uh, one of the best channels for ASMR right now. Awesome. Thank you very much for the love. Thank you very much for the love. I forget what I tagged this for Twitch. I think it was a uh, food and food and cooking or something. I didn't tag this one as ASMR, but or I did in the description, the whatever, but not in the title, not in the category, I guess. But it is nice and chill. That's what I consider ASMR to be, really. And then wax paper on top. We do another one. Food and drink. That's right, Alagash. Food and drink. That's what I tagged this thing with. Yeah, I put in the brackets in the title. But I don't know how Twitch, from what I understand in Twitch, when you're doing a search, it's good to have the category and the name first because when people type in the name uh, like if they're looking for ASMR 
people who tag their videos, the live streams with ASMR first, those are the ones that pop up first, right? Ours is cooking first, I think. That's what I'm more understand anyway. And I heard that you can actually set up your YouTube channel when that when you go live on Twitch, a message comes up saying, you know, whoever Chicho is live on Twitch, but I couldn't figure out how to do it. And I can't really see why YouTube would let that happen because Twitch is YouTube's competition in large part, right? It's good to be on two different platforms. Got to go on more. Decentralized. Decentralized from these technocrats. Or at least decentralized into multiple technocrat <laughs> platforms so they compete with each other. No monopolies. Coolio, what do you what do you do you edit your videos with if you don't mind? I I was using Adobe Premiere and I am using Adobe Premiere. But my editing computer is having hiccups, man. Like, I'm, I'm having a hard time bringing yesterday's uh, packing live stream into my video editor to be able to edit it. Just cut out the last three minutes, right? So if I can't do it, yesterday's live stream, whoever was there, that was it, gang. That's all you got. <laughs> that video is not going up, right? Um, I did get a new SD drive, SSD drive that I think I've mirrored my hard drive onto it. So I need to get a couple of external, a couple of internal hard drive. I know, Elder God, I'm trying, it's not working. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've had a couple of, I gotta get a couple of uh, internal hard drives as well as, uh, but I will at some point, Elder God, I'm gonna try again today, uh, as well as uh, uh, some extra RAM. Uh, but I'll see when I can get to it. I'll see what I can get to it. Oh, Coolio, it was a good stream. It was a fun stream. I shared some info about uh, the comic books I published. But I'll get it up. I'll get it up. I swear. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out. If not now, it'll come up later as a surprise. Hey, we did this like a year ago or something like this. Cornflakes, Chicho. What happened at the last three minutes? I missed that stream. I farted. <laughs> I was really disappointed that I did. It was it was it wasn't good. <laughs> and I kept on asking people, did you hear that? Did you hear that? And People are like, no, no, don't worry, Chicho. No one hurt anything. <laughs> so we can't have that on there. Come on. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> Hilarious. Funny. But we did pack up a fair bit of stuff. I gotta. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll see if I can get the stuff out tomorrow, the one we packed. But the odds are it's going to go out on Monday. Just because I want to be able to see if I can edit this video. I'm going to convert it and bring it in. And it's giving me headaches. Oh, I need another one. So we made a lot of patties here, Gerald. <laughs> How many patties we got so far? So that was nine nine. So we got five nines. We're gonna with this one. We're gonna have five nines. Okay, gang. What's five times nine? Chicho's other half was just trying to tell chat something. <laughs> so five nines plus a few more so let's see how many patties we ended up getting here and we've got about seven minutes left on the timer 
And these things fried taste delicious too. 45 so far. Elder God. Mm. Math is your friend, gang. Math is your friend. So 46. Here, we'll put them on top of each other. Actually, I'll put them here and then wash my hands. Put another layer of wax paper on there. So look, gang, just imagine, right? We're going to have about, let's say, 50 patties, right? So 50 patties has taken us 50 patties with a bunch of onions, which is cheap, a bunch of potatoes, which is cheap, a bunch of bread, which is cheap, right? The most expensive thing here is the, the meat right and this meat uh lean it was local um grass fed okay cost how much did i pay for this man i can't remember um let's say how much was it crap i don't know let's say 50 bucks right? 40 bucks 50 bucks so let's say total amount of cost for ingredients would be like 60 dollars so for $60, we end up getting 50 patties. Okay. So 50 burgers, $60. Let's say not $60, let's say $75 Canadian, right? So $75 Canadian for 50 patties, that's 25K total, <laughs> $60, but food with a while, uh, for a while, but food for a while, right? So let's say $75, each patty basically ended up costing $1.25, $1.50, right? Canadian, right? Or let's say $1.25 US, right? How much does a burger cost you when you go to a restaurant to eat? If you're on budget, cook at home. You get to eat for multiple days, right? You eat good food. You know what you're eating, right? Unless you're going to Elder God's restaurant, then Elder God's restaurant, you go and eat. He's, he serves great food. Only if you're in the UK, if you're lucky enough to be there, right? So, that's our patties. Now I can use the regular cloth, right? Curbside pickup. <laughs> and then, you know, you make fries, you have your greens, you're spending some time cooking, getting to know your kitchen. It's pretty good, man. On budget, if you're on budget, learn to cook at home. And here are our patties, right? I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Just for now, I'll cover it up later, okay? So, this we don't need anymore. That's not hot, right? This here, do we need this? Uh, not really. Here's the patty we had, right? <clears throat> if I can get it for you, Julio, on the house, let's see how many. How many people watching right now? We almost have 50 people watching. So everybody could get a burger. Makes you feel like a human being being able to cook. Indeed.
Oh, these are fat ass burgers. <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> I should have made them smaller. I should have definitely made them smaller. I'm just gonna do a little clean up here, okay? Just a first order of business when you're doing cleanup, clean the main knife first. Just get rid of that, right? Just get rid of that. Them fat ass burgers though. Them fat ass burgers, delicious. <laughs> so what do we need? What do we need? Which angles do we need? Do we need this one? Burgers are coming up. We'll just use, we'll use this one. I'm gonna turn off this guy, okay? Because we don't need this camera angle. This one's okay, this one's okay. We're gonna turn off this one. Hopefully I turn off the right one. Let's check it out. Boop. Yep. Boop. Nice. Okay. This is the rag I was using when I was washing my hands with when it was the hands were a little meaty, right? Just giving a rinse, wash this. So I don't use this again. I'm just gonna throw this on the ground. Right. Now that my hands are not meaty, right? Olive oil we don't need. Put this, Ooh, put this away, all right? Do a little cleanup. I will come by your burger, <laughs> come by your burgers. Love you though, awesome. Bareface man, nice, I like your name, I like your name. Cold fries. Still tastes pretty good. You're highlighting a message. Fanny, I just discovered you and it's a pleasure to see you cooking and speaking with the chat. Love it. Maybe there are mistakes. Uh, I'm a young, uh, I'm a young French. Welcome to our channel, Fanny. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. That's our timer. We set up the timer for 20 minutes, right? Let me show you what it looks like after 20 minutes. <laughs> These are seriously fat ass burgers. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put some toast in by the way. I wanna show you what this looks like. This is the one we put in after the second one we put in. Right? I'm just gonna give them a nice flip. And then put them back in and i'll bring out the other one and do the same and then we're going to put the toast in so we can make sandwiches And making uh, barbecue in the winter is fine too, right? We have the barbecue set up, so we might barbecue some of these as well tomorrow or something. Sourdough bread. I'm gonna wash some greens too, I, th I think. I'm currently flying over I Iowa. Have the burgers <laughs> ready. Oh my God, sorry. Hey, I thought you can't eat these. They got, uh, what can we call it in them? 
They got gluten. But you're welcome. And let me show you the soma that we can spray out. Check this out. This is a soma. It's like a flower from a tree. Um, it's phenomenal. And you just spray this on top. It's like, it's not hot spicy, but it's flavorful. So what I want to do right now, while that's doing this thing, I want to put the timer on for another 15 minutes. Okay. The fries are going to be done by then too. Gluten hurts, but it won't kill me. <laughs> no. The fries are cooking up. I'm going to wash up some uh, uh, Italian parsley. Okay. Saffron, uh, no, not saffron. Saffron gives a color, the yellow color. Somach, yeah, somach, S-U-M-A-K. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's from a somach tree, I think. I think the tree is actually called somach tree. thing we forgot what goes good with burgers avocado avocado got some uh, rocola and parmesan with tomatoes inspired inspire people to eat healthy with some chicken on their grill uh, it tastes like uh, citrus yeah it's like lemony citrusy yeah Throw fried <laughs> fried eggs is really good too, by the way. Burger and eggs, mushrooms, man. We don't have any mushrooms. I would have fried us some mushrooms. But I'm gonna bring out the cheese as well. Let's put on some cheese on there as well. Fun. Let's put this here. We don't need this. Oops. We don't need that guy. Let's see how our burgers are doing. Looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. We just need to watch the Italian parsley a little bit. Washing in this. If I had the ability to have more uh, morale mushrooms with every meal, oh god, yeah. It's a berry. Uh, so much, no, it's not a berry. It's a flower of a tree. Here's some Italian parsley, super good. Fatouche. It has some, oh, I don't, I don't use uh, somar and salad, but it would be good. Oh, I forgot to plug this. Oh no, let's plug that, nice. I had breakfast for dinner last night. Eggs, bacon, potatoes, and toast. Nice, long piggy. Super delicious. Add a little salt. Let's throw this back in. And what I do need to do is make a little bit of room because when the burgers come out, we got to take care of it. So let's create a little space here. And when you do a cook, if you got a dishwasher, clean it off first, right? We did the dishes, put everything away. You got a clean dishwasher. You can just start stuffing it, right? Cool. 
these guys here. We're gonna put this guy here. You're putting the dishes off until the weekend. That's a long time, brother. That's a long time. Let's see, how's our toast doing? Yeah, that's good. Let's put this guy here. Cool. Let's put this guy here. Nice. A tray where we can put the burgers on, right? On top of the racks. Let's cut up the cheese. Very nice, very nice. Very nice, very nice. Do you want to see what I'm doing here? Here. I'm just going to cut up some cheese. I got my greens. I'm going to cut up the avocado. I'm going to put them in a, this guy. Tomatoes, cucumber, onions, parsley, soma. Man, I gotta try this thing out. Fatouche? I don't know this thing. Where is it from, this salad? I'm assuming it's Middle Eastern. Totally crumbly. Break it. We had the cheese in the freezer, so. Tabuli. Tabuli is really good. Tabuli is nice too, yeah. Talk about getting your greens filled, right? That's a lot of cheese. Right there. We still have some of our homemade tomatoes, by the way. to make sure it's done, right? Nice, 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 nice. They could have been a little bit fatter, right? Nice, nice, nice. I like it. Mm, let's cut up a fat one. Here's a fat one. Oh yeah. 
Okay, that's good. So, let's do this. I'm gonna put these burgers on the cutting board over here. So that was, I don't even, I lost how much time that was. 20 minutes, maybe, right? 20 minutes, no, more than 20 minutes. We went 20 minutes and we added another 15 minutes. So about half an hour. Maybe cooked it a little bit too long, right? Have you ever put cheese on the burger mix? Inside, no, I haven't. Uh, not a bad idea though. Here's some fresh fries. It's not as crispy yet, but I am gonna salt it and give it a whirl. Where's my whirl? Oops. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put our burgers together. Okay. almost done. We need a place to put that baby. Here's the greens. Let me make my greens over here. Here's the greens, right? I'm gonna put some of that on top. I don't need this guy there. I'm gonna make a little bit of room here to put the other burger tray. Put these guys down so we don't burn the countertop. Make sure this is not too hot. Salute gang. Roasted potatoes are delicious. 25 minutes looks, uh, looks good. 25 minutes looks good, okay. Have I read Dune? Indeed, indeed. Lark, bark. If you guys, if you haven't read Dune, read Dune. Here's these guys. Take a look. Looking good. Right? Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yep. This is done. I'm just gonna put this on the side. Okay. Now, I'm gonna bring this over. I'm gonna make a couple of sandwiches, gang. Okay. Nice. Now I'm gonna cut these, because sourdough is funny. Sometimes sourdough does this. Right? So I'm gonna cut this. Oops. Like so. Okay, okay, you don't like this. I, I realize you don't like this. Because you are sourdough. So we're just gonna do it manually. Okay. I'm gonna make a couple of sandwiches. Right? And here's one. I'm gonna cut this guy in half. So first order of business, we're gonna put cheese on this. Big one for me, little one for my partner. Okay. Let's sprinkle a little cheese on this. Actually, uh, yeah, let's put some cheese on this right now. Okay. And then we're gonna put the burger on top. And then the heat from the burger is gonna melt the cheese a little bit. Okay. We'll grab a fresh fork. There's a little bit of space left here. I'm gonna put some meat in there. Very nice. 
Ooh, here. And then we're gonna put some mayo on the side. Three thousand kicks done so far. You got three thousand. You did a thousand a day. She shows that looks divine already. <laughs> Let's put some mayo on there. Now, mayo is optional you don't have to but why not i didn't get i wasn't able to get any just regular ground beef right so the burgers aren't as fatty as i like them and there's nothing wrong with fat by the way gang you, in moderation of course right just balance yourself out right so that's good nope that's our timer going off so the fries are going to be done right now so let me deal with the fries, gang. Ah, we can we can wait for the fries. We're gonna put avocado in here. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. We're gonna spray some somal on top of the burgers. Mayo <laughs> sound effects is even better. So we're gonna take this much somal, like not much, and you can put it in a salt shaker as well. Okay, so that much on each burger, right? This one's a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna add a little bit more. And a little bit more on the other one. And somal is per taste, right? Some people like a lot of somal, some people like a little somal. Right? We got that, we got that going on. We're gonna have a pour ourselves a little bit more liqueur. Somal. Somal, I think it's S U M A C. And it's um, it's the flower. Uh, blackberry liqueur, homemade blackberry liqueur. It's the flower from a somak tree, I believe. Okay. I think the tree is called a somak tree. I'm not 100% sure on it, to the truth. But it's a staple spice in Iran. Salut, gang. We're going to take greens. Show you what I'm doing here. Let's put this guy over here. And by the time we make these, our fries is going to be done. The French fries, the fresh French pot fries, right? So I'm just going to lay this on top. Now we don't need any salt. The burger is salty enough. Okay. And we do have some garden tomatoes as well that are almost ready. Check it out. This is the last bit of our garden tomatoes that we have left, right? They're almost ripe. I'm not going to add them to the burger. I'm just going to put them on the side. Okay. So that's our burger. I'm going to... Oh, fries is looking good. Fries is looking good. So I'm going to do this. Here, I'm going to bring another plate. I'm going to flip this guy. Ooh. Take a look. Oops, let me show you. All right. You could add more greens, but this is okay right now. Take a look. I'm going to put this guy here. I'm gonna flip this guy. Okay, I'm gonna put this guy here. So this is gonna be my plate. I'm just gonna put this on the side. We don't need this right there. We're gonna bring out the fries so they're not overdone, right? You need French, uh, fresh French fries, right? So, give the tomatoes a little wash. Okay. Make 
the little tomatoes here. Add some for me. Put some extra cheese, just in case somebody needs some extra cheese. Put a couple of extra avocados in there. We'll do the same for me. Right. I'm gonna add a little extra cheese for me too on the side, just in case we want some. Now, I'm going to transfer my burger over here. I'm going to taste the fries. Hot, 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 hot. Mm, very nice. Right? You don't need too much fries, just enough. Let's add a little bit more Italian parsley. Right. And we already have our hot sauce. So, a little burger plate. Right, gang? <laughs> see, you can see it. Right? little burger plate. Never enough fries. We had a whole bunch of fries already we ate, right? Two fries walked into a bar. One was one was assaulted. <laughs> one was assaulted. Uh -huh. <laughs> Gina, funny. Okay, I'm gonna go give this one to my partner. I'm gonna come back, finish off my plate, right? So, So here's my plate, and we're gonna add the fries. We'll just take the rest of this. There we go. Goodness. Oh yeah, we're gonna turn the oven off. We're done with the oven. Cool. Let's get rid of this guy. We don't need this guy here. Right. That's done. And this guy we don't need here. And, is this hot? No. So I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna turn off this camera, okay? Fun. <laughs> oh, for sure I'm gonna take a bite, indeed. <laughs> indeed. Gang, salute, salute. I hope you're having amazing food today, amazing snacks. Very good. Oh, this is gonna be a messy burger. Very yummy. Very yummy guy. Like that. Thumbs up. <laughs> really yummy. <laughs> and we have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 and a half burgers cooked. Okay. Tomatoes. 15 and a half burgers cooked. So we can eat today, tomorrow, and the next day. The burgers we have in the fridge, I'm gonna 
Let them cool down a little bit and I'm gonna put them in uh, Ziploc bags, freezer bags. Put them in the fr uh, freezer, right? So we're set for burgers. So this was 18 burgers. We had 50 burgers. What do we got left? 22 burger, 20? 32 burgers, food for days, all right? We still have 32 burgers in the freezer that we can eat. We started the live stream at 10, at 12 o'clock. It's three o'clock right now. So three or hours of full-on cooking, interacting, right, doing a live stream. I had some prep to do beforehand, right? So let's say, I mean, setting up a live stream that shouldn't even count as part of cooking. Let's say you do total of four hours of cooking all in, right? Four hours of cooking all in, you have food for three days plus food for another at least three days, four days in the freezer. Personal finance, right? And it costs you, that's basically phenomenal food that you're eating for, what, $75 for your eating for, uh, I don't know. Ten days. <laughs> oh, George Farmer burgers. Uh, are you joking? I'm going to eat fifteen burgers in the first five minutes. <laughs> I'm going to share with family as well a little bit, right? Got homemade fries to boot. What did Aller God say? Super late, and you instantly make me hungry. <laughs> Randall, how are you doing? What did Aller God say? Mm -hmm. Cheese. Now it's that last meal for me out, yeah, cheese. Really, the cheese is fantastic. See that you haven't had food since this morning? Watching Chicho die <laughs> now. I hope it's like late morning for you. Where would you be if it was late morning? Right above your mask. Oh, where is that? Oh, hell or God, right there. Are you joking? I'm going to eat. Oh, hell <laughs> God, since I was 15. That was Elder God saying that. I missed the name. It's 6 p.m. You haven't eaten since all day? I'll be eating at least two more today. This was one and a half burgers. I'll be eating at least three more patties today. Wrapping my burgers now, nice. And the fries with a little hot sauce thing. And you can use this as the dip for the burger too, right? The only time I use ketchup, if I make the ketchup. So it's not really ketchup. It's tomato sauce. I don't use ketchup, not anymore. 
Mmm. Grilled cheese with a beef patty in the middle is nice too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super delicious. We had grilled cheese last night. But putting patty in the middle? Oh, it'd be so greasy and meaty. Mustard I love. Ketchup I used to love, man. And then I realized most ketchup is just sugar. And I was like, wait a second, why am I eating sugar? You dip my entire burger in ketchup. <laughs> I used to. Once I started learning what some of the food was, what I was eating, I realized it wasn't really food. It was just processed chemicals. So I just stopped consuming some of that stuff. It just had to be done. And water with burger, fantastic, right? You're eating protein, you need to drink water. Yeah, homemade ketchup, tomato paste, right? Tomato sauce ketchup. Yeah, mustard is fantastic. We have some mustard. I'll probably maybe eat mustard later on with it, but I put somal on here, so I like the flavor of the somal. Juicy Lucy? Oh, I know that name. I can't remember what Juicy Lucy is. What's the Juicy Lucy? Mmm, I haven't had A1 for a long time. Mm hmm, Dijon, the best. I'm suffering a sugar crash. I need some honey immediately. Oh, Elder God. We went and picked up another batch of honey for this year. It was a good harvest. I transferred some from the bucket to this. We might do a honey transfer making jars of honey again video. <laughs> Cornflakes, you weigh the health benefits of all or most foods over a taste. Just with the tomato uh, sauce you mentioned, like I see why, but expectations have to be made. Like with uh, belly, oh, belly pork, delicious. But you know, seriously, it's it's a matter of what you're used to as well, right? Because uh, once you stop eating processed sugar, when you go back to processed sugar, you're like, oh, what is this? Ketchup to me was the same. Once I stop, even though I like the taste, it, it doesn't do the same thing for me. <laughs> 10, 10 points for that jar, see that says. <laughs> I gotta do cheese stuff burgers. <laughs> one thousand K out of God says. <laughs> Honey jarring video. My first Chicho video, was it? Ah, Lonely Piggy, awesome. Love honey. Like Winnie the Pooh. If I had to come back at a care as a character, I'd come back as Winnie the Pooh. Honey garlic wings is a face of my yeah uh, i i make pretty good uh w chicken wing uh, f uh wings gang and i make them with honey it's super good i got maybe one of the cooking streams we do uh chicken wings food is like utility to me i eat to curb hunger mostly right out of the freezer or a jar of peanut butter oh no see death what dude don't do that have an amazing relationship with food. You've got the chill vibes of when you already only pieces. This was super good. Oh, you went off cider, Elder God. When I returned to it, the tasty was so chemical oh yeah i bet eh? <laughs> i haven't cooked or eaten out at a restaurant in maybe five years whoa that's good but as long as you're doing good cooking at home yeah i'm with coolio food is one of the best things about being alive 
Really? Kenny Roberts, yep. Honey diced garlic and soy sauce is all I use in my honey garlic sauce. Cool. I use it in the cooking process as well. The honey. Oh, it's so good. Oh no, 2.79 cent pizza from Addie's. Oh no. And frozen Addie's. Oh, dude. See that. No, no, no. See that 420, brother. You're a 420, man. You gotta do this. That's one of the most amazing things about the 420 life. Oh, 89 cents pot pies. No, dude. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm hmm. Cooking. Cooking it. You have a build up your relationship with food. Once you start cooking, you start building up a relationship with food. You save money, you're healthier, you understand more. You get smarter. You're getting the nutrients your body needs. It's fantastic. Yeah, honey is always better locally. It helps build your immune system, yeah. And it prevents allergies and whatnot. It's, yeah. Local honey is the best. See that? We gotta have a talk about your food consumption. This was super yummy again. And fresh herbs. And local fresh herbs. And homemade blackberry liqueur. Fantastic. Fantastic. Where I'm living now, it's hard to avoid some processed food, but I try to cook uh, whenever I can, Coolio says. Yeah. Yeah, I realized some, I've heard anyway, some parts of the Canada, United States, it's very hard to get fresh produce, which to me is like, wow. See, the Chicho's food is so pure. I probably puke from eating it. My body won't know know what it is. See that? That's the kicker, right? You get your our human human body is crazy powerful. It adapts. It adjusts. But if you force too much on it, right? If you're just using it as a filter to process process the chemicals, it'll last you a while. But when it breaks, it's gonna break hard, right? You need to change your eating habit before you reach that point where you're going to break hard because breaking hard coming back from that is very difficult now coolio in albania I'm, albania i'm going to be forced to cook more which i'm excited about also excited to try their food and surrounding greek and italian food nice kenny i'm a chef if you need help with food let me know i'm on chicho's discord if you need help oh awesome thank you for making that offer kenny to see that yeah gang we have a discord people are sharing a lot of information helping each other out man you can't ask anything more right uh, and i've i've gone to our discord for help for advice and stuff so uh, there's a lot of kind people sharing a lot of information uh, if you need to get started on anything uh, look there um, nice chef Kenny Coolio says thank you Chicho and Kenny for the advice yeah really uh, when I was younger I eat I didn't you know I didn't well, I ate help pretty healthy because of family but I used to eat crap food outside and as you get older you realize you don't want to eat put that stuff in your body that's that's just not respecting your body while I munch on fries. <laughs> See that you're 47, dude. Stop it. 
That's a lot of crap. <laughs> a lot of crap. Yeah, a lot of crap and a lot of crap out. Yeah. See that, brother. Uh, start eating healthier. You, uh, otherwise, you're going to be paying a heavy price for it later on. I've seen it happen to people. Kenny says, I like helping people. Awesome. Thank you for the offer, Kenny. Lester, good at food is. Good at food is. You can get used to and love it. It's like sushi. Um, I almost puked the first time I ate it, and now it tastes amazing. Yeah. Welcome to the ICA. No problem at all. Yeah, I used to hate sushi. Now I absolutely love it. Nice. Good sushi. You gotta have good sushi. Uh oh. Chicho needs a refill. Blackberry liqueur. Grilled eel. Oh, yeah. Unagi. Grilled eel was unagi, Kenny, no? I saw a documentary on fish. Almost all fish has worms. See that? Uh, depends on whose documentary you saw. And yeah, there are worms and fish, but you treat it, uh, you know, if you, like when you go to a sushi place, I think they have to f keep the uh, fish frozen for three days, right? So if you go to a sushi restaurant, and they bring you fish that is, is got, still got the frozen crunch to it, that's not good because it hasn't been stayed there long enough maybe, right? You freeze it, yes, yeah. No, all, you could have problems with many types of foods. You just have to prepare them properly, right? Like, okay, g ground beef. You don't really want to eat ground beef raw, but if you prepare it properly the way we did, right, it's okay. So it's all about the preparation and how you consume a certain type of food. Like there are, there are religions out there, beliefs out there, they don't eat pork, they don't eat shellfish, right? Because shellfish are bottom feeders, they're filters, they don't eat pork because pork, you know, whatever, right? But if you prepare it properly, it's, it's okay, it's delicious and it's got lots of nutrients. Yeah. Hell yeah, they're gone. Hell they're gone and did see death of 47. The cornflakes, Chicho. Been eating a lot of junk because of home situation. Advice to try and eat well in a house where, where, where video vanishes. In a house where video, I don't know what you mean with video vanishes. But here, dude, let, let me show you what I have here, right? Check this out. forgot to put pickles on my burgers homemade pickles oh look homemade pickles we forgot to put homemade pickles on the burger <gasps> oh, homemade pickles on the burger look at this uh, sunflower seeds in a jar we eat this right walnuts in a jar we eat this right like if you want a snack walnuts walnuts raisins right? one of the best best foods you can eat watch this I'm gonna show you one of the foods that I eat that is amazing right amazingly good for you I'm gonna make a little space here amazingly good for you fills you up full of minerals good for the body Right? It's a mini sandwich. I'm making a mini sandwich. I want to put cheese on it. Right? Cheese. It's one of my two go-to foods. Almonds are great. I'm out of almonds right now. Oh, I'm going to show you this too. I'm going to show you this food as well. Watch this. But one of the sandwiches I do, I eat. Right? Dates and cheese sandwich. You can use dates and fried eggs as well. Just take the seed out of the date. Okay. Put it on there. 
You could put more cheese on there. I usually do put a little bit extra cheese. I just don't want to, you know, crack open the cheese. I'm already pretty full. Oh, I got some cheese here. Nice. <laughs> I already got some cheese here. I'm going to put some cheese on here. Right. Tons of iron and dates. Lots of minerals. The cheese gives you your, you know, dairy, your calcium and whatnot. Aldegaard doesn't like it, the gluten stuff, but sourdough bread. Sourdough is really good. Cheese love. Chicho loves his cheese. I love my cheese, right? So take a look. Date cheese sandwich, right? Fantastic. Fills you up. Super good. Okay. Really, super delicious. Now, some I saw day when Indiana Jones almost got poisoned by one. In the of the last yard. You hate cheese, Alabama? No, you don't. I thought you'd like cheese. Cheese crackers and grapes. And cheese with uh, the greens, herbs and stuff. Mm. You don't have to have the bread. I just add the bread. But cheese and dates, so good. You could put walnuts in there, so good. Cornflakes should turn to junk food. <laughs> Jesus, Elder God, cheese is more addictive than heroin. Check out this other thing we got persimmon, right? Take a look at this. It's persimmon. This type of persimmon, there's two different types of persimmon. One is this long one. And then there's the other one that are shortened. Like saucer shape, right? The saucer shaped ones are more common. This is the one that Persians eat a lot. Armenians eat a lot, right? You have to leave these out until they get squishy. See that? They're squishy, right? Then they're good to eat. If they're not squishy, they taste horrendous, right? Persimmon, yeah. Take a look, this one's squishy too. Let me bring you one that's not squishy. See this? This one's not squishy. It's almost getting there, but it needs another like week for it to get squishy, maybe another five days. But this is like squishy, right? So let me show you what this is like. Uh, eating is a good thing. Eating is a good thing. Let me show you what this is like. Sharana versus Simmons. <laughs> awesome. Cheryl, have you ever had these big ones? Oh, it tastes so unique. Have you ever had these big ones? Oh, pomegranates, candy, for sure. I got a whole playlist of pomegranates. Yeah, these... Gang, let me crack this open. Watch this. Crack open, open in the middle. Okay. Check it out. Where, where do they grow? I don't know where they grow. They grow in hot climates. Take a look. Right? Now, to eat this, grab your spoon and you can eat all the, all the inside, right? looks like it look at that Cheryl no I don't I don't so they look like they're almost twice the normal size is that uh, yeah yeah 
actually volume wise are probably yeah to at least twice triple the normal size and these ones you have to wait until they're ripe like really they need to be squishy otherwise it's grainy it tastes weird right and amazing if you have a Persian store near you they will have this in season they'll be there for about a month and then they're gone okay the other type lasts longer they'll have that this one is doesn't last as long ah oh, now I know they're called khaki here it's uh, mainly from Japan I guess uh, Iranians have this this is like typical Iranian like Iranians know this and so do Armenians What does it taste like? It used to look more like apricot. Yeah, the, Cheryl, try to get your hands on these. You, and you have to wait until they're squishy, really. Otherwise, you'll never eat them again. It. What does it taste like? Cheryl, what does persimmons taste like? Rambutan, our best fruit, trust me. Rambutan, I don't know what rambutan is. Italians love persimmons. Yeah, Mediterranean countries, uh, people love persimmons. It look, it's super sweet, and it's got a very unique fruit flavor to it. Like, the texture is absolutely phenomenal. Hmm. Like wow. And it just melts in your mouth so you leave them out until they're ripe right squishy and then put them in the fridge they're good warm as well like room temperature but when you put them in the fridge cold you've never you haven't tasted if you've never tried these you've you've never tasted anything like this before Swedish and kind of uh, spicy not hot but a spice I yeah, flavorful very flavorful it's yeah spicy would be a not hot spicy but it, it tastes like it it had to be prepared like this you need to try Fuji apples food uh, apples are good someone said they didn't like apples but apples are amazing mm. Oh, seriously, so good. And then when you when you finish a skin and you just keep on doing this to it, right? You're like, oh, how come there isn't more? Mm. Very good. very good I want to save this one for my partner okay turn it over and it would make amazing dessert okay. gang that was a great stream for <laughs> a good time I hope you had a good time Oh, that is dry. Oh no, apples are amazing. See that? Rabutan, Napoleon, Lactra, is a fruit native to South Asia. Chicho, it is the best fruit. I don't know this thing. Rabutan, honey crisp apples. I like all types of apples. Really, sorry, I wanted to clear up the pickles question. What's the pickles question, Elder God? Thank you. My pleasure, see that. Honey crisp is what I use for pies. Ooh, delicious. Honey, honey crisp is sweet. Nice crunch to it, actually, isn't it? <laughs> I'm pretty full, gang. Macintosh apples, so good, so good. So good, so good. I, we always have apples here. Like, we have apples. Like, you have to have apples. Apples are so good. 
Amiga greater than uh, yeah people have their thing about um, apples eh? I'm hungry now I hope so Kenny I'm full <laughs> cheers gang salute let me take down this angle as well because I I'm not gonna eat anymore I'm full I am full cheers cheers gang cheers gang thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed the stream uh thanks for uh all the food advice we didn't do too much book discussion but we talked a little bit about books right uh, maybe books is a little bit too heavy uh to talk while we're making hamburgers and french fries <laughs> cheryl to really god i've only seen sweet uh, gherkins so i always associate them with a very specific types of pickle is it the same there gherkins i don't even know what gherkins is i have pizza waiting for me nice kenny apple was murdered by the injection snake some politics <laughs> that's maybe why some people hate it right lonely Piggy, thank you for an amazing stream as always uh, thank you guys as well chicho enjoy the food thank you very much we have enough food to eat for a while gang gang if you want to know what this is all about I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O. If you want to follow this work, if you want to know what else we're up to, Patreon is a good place to be. I don't put anything behind paywalls, everything Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you that were supporting this work, thank you very much for the support, gang. Very much appreciated. And it's because of you that we're able to do this. And the gang that's supporting us on Twitch. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the discussions. Thank you for being here. Mods, thank you for taking care of business. Appreciate the conversation, gang. It's fantastic, uh, especially during these times, right? Uh, and for those of you who aren't on Twitch, if you want to participate in these live streams, participate in the chat. Twitch is where you want to be at. We do announce these live streams on Parlor, Elo, Minds, VK, Gab, and Twitter. Rubacalypse, thank you very much for the bits. Uh, I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on those platforms, and all the links will be in the description of this video. And anytime you want, you can come to our Twitch page and do exclamation mark social, and you type that in the chat. If we're live or not and all the links will pop up and as we've said in this chat and previous chats we do have a discord page and if you want to participate in the discussions that are taking place when we're not live discord our discord page is a good place to be okay thank you elder god for live streams where we don't have any visuals we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform okay and we will be uploading this stream to both bitshoot and youtube and you can support this work by subscribing following liking commenting sharing and if you're on this if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership and for those of you who join youtube membership thank you very much for the support gang we have live streams set up for at least the next five days i believe uh, today's thursday we got friday saturday sunday monday and then next wednesday tomorrow we're doing mathematics tomorrow i believe i forget what time we're starting okay tomorrow i think we're doing it from i can't i can't remember what we're doing we're doing it from four to six or something uh, we got a math stream going on just drop in math tutoring session <laughs> we got a drop in math tutoring session on uh, saturday night i believe we're doing politics on sunday night i believe we're talking about a personal finance on monday i believe we're talking about relationships next wednesday we're doing something i forget what we're doing next wednesday uh, what are we doing next wednesday I forget what we're doing next Wednesday uh, we'll figure it out okay it is on our patreon page pinned to the patreon page when we're doing live streams, so you can look at the schedule there and on our discord page and 
now I've started sharing the schedule on our main Twitch page as well so you'll know what's coming up gang I hope you have a fantastic day I'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it mathematics mathematics bye everyone